Hey everybody, it's Jenny Procopi with chronicbabe.com and you're with me for another AWAP Wednesday. AWAP Wednesday stands for as well as possible. And in all the things that I do with Chronic Babe, that is my wish for you to be as well as possible despite being sick, to really lead a kick-ass life even if you're a sicko. And I know you can. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you a little bit about fear. A lot of you write me different letters about questions that are all based on fears that you're experiencing, which is totally normal. And I'm going to answer a lot of them over time, but today I thought I would step back a little bit and talk a little more generally about the root of fear and how we can begin to face our fears so that we can lead more fulfilling lives. So first, I want to give you a little biology recap. When we experience fear, our body releases a big hormonal burst that's meant to help us in a fight or flight scenario, which is great when you're being chased by like a grizzly bear or something. <laughs> but when you feel that sensation day to day, week to week, year to year, it's really detrimental. It's really hard on our bodies. It um, beats away at our endocrine system. It really hurts our immune system. It makes us quicker to get angry, quicker to get sick. It has so many detrimental physical effects. So I wanted to just remind you about a little bit about the biology of fear. We know fear is bad for us physically. It is also really a bitch emotionally. You know, fear can be so paralyzing. It can keep us from making really critical decisions. It can stop us from being authentic with other people. It can keep us from asking really important questions. And the worst thing that fear does is it keeps us from changing. It's normal for any human being to experience fear. And for those of us with chronic illness, it is way more common for us to have kind of day-to-day -day fears. And why not? With all the stuff that we have to deal with, the kind of nagging uncertainty that a lot of us have to live with day-to-day, -day, it's really not surprising that we start to feel a bunch of fear that can hold us back. But starting today, I want you to take specific action. We're going to go through a quick exercise that you can use to start identifying fears when they come up, look at where they're coming from, and move them out of our way so we can continue to change and evolve and create the kind of lives that we want. Okay, to do this, we invoke a simple exercise that I have been taught that maybe you've heard before, but I'm gonna reinforce it for you. It's called, and then what? So I'm gonna to read to you a scenario that I wrote up, a sample exercise. So I have a thought. And my thought is, I'm afraid to talk to my doctor about pain I'm having during sex. That can be uncomfortable for some people to talk about, okay. When I recognize that fear either in the moment or later, I pause and I write down the fear and all the feelings that I'm having around it. Like I'm having this fear of talking about sex with my doctor and I'm feeling scared and my heart is racing and I feel frustrated and like write all that stuff down. Take five, 10 minutes and do it. And then ask yourself, and then what? And I would answer, uh, if I ask my doctor about pain during sex, then I'll feel really embarrassed and weird. And then what? Then I'll feel awkward and I maybe won't be able to finish the conversation. And then what? Hmm, I guess maybe if I raise the issue and then I get embarrassed, then maybe the doctor will carry the conversation for me for a minute while I recompose myself. And then what? But then we'll still be talking about sex, which is totally outside my comfort zone. And then what? I guess the worst that could happen is my doctor could recognize how uncomfortable I am and refer me to another resource. Sure, that's a possibility. And then what? Then I could maybe do some more homework and maybe ask my friends for referrals or advice. And so on. <laughs> Did you like my play acting?
When you game out a scenario in this way, when you look at the possibilities, it actually starts to get easier to see positive possibilities. So in this scenario, an alternate possibility could be that your doctor sees that you're embarrassed and says, hey, look, I look at hoo-hahs all day. So let's just get real. It's easy to talk about this. And like, you'll laugh because your doctor said hoo-hahs and then you'll get over it and you'll have the conversation. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen, right? Like you could be, you could feel awkward and your doctor feels awkward and it's weird. And why is the doctor awkward about talking about sex anyway? That's a whole other video. But there are positive possibilities too. And when you start to game out those scenarios, it's a lot easier to envision an alternate reality, a, a, re a reality that's an alternative to your fear-based paralyzing, I can't do it reality. Keep practicing. You know, a, a big challenge in facing our fears is that those same little nasty fears keep showing up. They're just going to keep at you. So you got to keep practicing having these conversations where you game out possibilities. The more you do it, the easier it gets, I promise. And you will start to see positive possibilities and everything won't seem so scary all the time because you'll have thought through what could happen that could be really nice. So keep practicing. I know you can do it. It's not the easiest, but totally, totally worth it hope you've enjoyed this AWAP Wednesday. This is like a foundational practice that I think that we all need to keep practicing because fear is never going to go away. It's normal for us to feel fear. It's how we react in the face of fear that defines how our life moves forward. If you liked it, I hope you will like this video on Facebook or YouTube and share with your friends. You know, you never know who's facing some kind of fear and needs that extra reinforcement. So you could be really helping someone by sharing this. That would be great. While I've got you here, I want to talk about two things. One is our awesome weekly newsletter that we send out every week, letting you know about new videos, blog posts, all other kinds of stuff when I do giveaways or guest interviews. And I have a book coming out in the next few months and I want you to find out about it first. So newsletter subscribers are going to get first notice when it's out. So sign up today, chronicbabe.com, get the newsletter. Also, the Chronic Babe Secret Club, rocking it! Our ladies are so rad, they're doing a really good job. Every month I have a group of women and we talk about a specific topic. Like this month it's sex, guilt, and rock and roll. I mean, it's pretty fun. It's pretty meaty. <laughs> so we send out a weekly newsletter that's packed with resources. You get a big old PDF full of resources and exercises and challenges. We have a private Facebook group that no one on earth can see except for people in the secret club. So you can really talk frankly about what you're learning. I do a teleseminar every month. I send fun snail mail. There's a bunch of stuff. It's a pretty rad subscription. So I hope you'll check it out at chronicbabe.com slash secret club. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. I hope you make this a really awesome week. And until we meet again, be a wow. Mwah. Beep. It's very normal. F <laughs> come back. They're nasty. They're going to come back. <laughs> what is this, by the way? <laughs>